NBC Nightly News, reported by John Siegenthaler. Good evening, everyone. The attack on America, now 18 days old, created shockwaves that are still being felt around the world tonight. NBC News has learned investigators have gathered still more evidence indicating the attacks were coordinated overseas by associates of Osama bin Laden. In Afghanistan, Kabul Radio reports that Taliban leaders are preparing citizens for the possibility of a U.S. military attack. And NBC News has confirmed that the White House has written a memo to outline its policy on Afghanistan. The document says the U.S. does not want to choose who rules Afghanistan, but will assist those who seek a peaceful existence free of terrorism. Our coverage of today's events begins at the Pentagon with Nora O'Donnell, part of the NBC Terrorism Task Force. Good evening, Nora. Good evening, John. Tonight, investigators tell NBC News they are confident the terrorist plot was hatched and funded entirely overseas, assisted by associates of Osama bin Laden, who gave instruction and financial support from Europe and the Middle East. In Germany today, police arrest three Middle Eastern men on suspicion of planning terrorist attacks. Prosecutors said they have not established a direct link between the arrested men and bin Laden or the September 11th attacks. But Germany is now a focal point of the global dragnet. A senior government official tells NBC News the FBI has now determined Germany was the command and control center for the entire hijacking operation, funneling some $500,000 to the U.S. Sources say the money trail leads from the U.S. to Germany to the United Arab Emirates, and they believe, ultimately, Afghanistan. A senior government official tells NBC, I think it will take us back to bin Laden, definitely. The money trail is critical to identifying a lot of those players that would not have otherwise been known about. In fact, the money trail is described as the most productive part of the investigation. And the biggest break to date, the arrest of Latfi Raisi, who British prosecutors claim was in on the September 11th plot, arranging flight instruction for the hijackers. The U.S. now aided by a worldwide coalition. The United Nations Security Council unanimously approved a resolution demanding all countries sever financial, political, and military ties with terrorist groups and freeze their assets. The next step for the military, shutting down bin Laden's training camps in Afghanistan, where at least four of the hijackers were trained. Administration officials acknowledge U.S. and British special forces have been in the region on scouting missions, gathering intelligence for when the U.S. is ready to strike. And in the nearly three weeks since the terrorist attacks, U.S. military buildup in the region has more than doubled. There are now three aircraft battle groups, 50,000 soldiers and sailors, and 500 warplanes, a decisive force now within striking distance of Afghanistan and waiting for the call. John. NBC's Nora O'Donnell at the Pentagon.